Crypto Crypto Warriors and Sergeant Crypto back at it again. Today is Thursday, August 27th, 2020. Don't listen to what people say. Watch what they do. This quote is very relevant for today's video. And let's just get right into it. Fidelity Digital Asset val validates model that predicts Bitcoin price at $1 million. Fidelity Digital Asset has reviewed and validated the stock to flow model that predicts Bitcoin's price at $1 million. Fidelity expects Bitcoin to outperform gold after 2024 because of the stock to flow ratio. Asset management firm Fidelity Digital Asset has recently published a report analyzing the stock to flow valuation, valuation model created by Plan B. The report was created as a way to examine the reasons that attract interest in Bitcoin as an investment. As Fidelity Digital Asset notes, Bitcoin is increasingly integrated in traditional investment portfolios. Here's the report. Once it loads, it's a 19-page report. I suggest you come and check it, check it out yourself. It, it's basically making an argument as to why uh, Bitcoin is a great investment, why it should be a part of everyone's uh, portfolio. If you're talking about the traditional portfolio where, you know, uh, if you're young, 60% in stocks and then maybe 40% in bonds and, and things of that nature, right? So they're starting to say you should allocate a portion of that portfolio into something like Bitcoin, which isn't typically correlated to the traditional markets per se. Now, in the past, before I even got into uh, Bitcoin, before 2017, in the past, I have, you know, when I was watching the, the talking heads on the TV, you know, the, the Fox Business News, the, the CNBC, right? And they freaking talk about Bitcoin. They always spoke down about, about Bitcoin. They always associated Bitcoin with something illicit drug dealing, human trafficking, buying illegal weapons, like whatever the case may be, it was always something bad. During that time, I was pursuing a career in law enforcement and, and I'm a former Marine. So I definitely, definitely wanted to stay away from anything that may have put a blemish on my records, so to speak. You know, this way, when they did my background check, you know, there, there wasn't um, anything in question. Now, all that time, if I had done my own research, right? If I had just dug a little bit deeper, I would have really seen what, what Bitcoin what was or what it was worth. The question I'm, I'm starting to ask now is, did they always know? And when I say they, I mean the talking heads on the TV, the so-called investment gurus. Did they always know that Bitcoin of Bitcoin's potential? Now, Fidelity, they've been open. They've been transparent and let people know, well, I don't know in the beginning, but I know back in 2017 and 2018, I've heard that Bitcoin or Fidelity ha has been mining Bitcoin since 2014. They've been mining Bitcoin in their offices since 2014. They now have a stake in a Bitcoin mining operation in Canada, a 10% stake in a Bitcoin mining operation in Canada. All right. So, so at least Fidelity, they've been somewhat transparent about it since the beginning. Now you've had the likes of Jamie Dimon, the CEO of JP Morgan Chase, on several occasions came out and spoke badly about Bitcoin because he had something to lose. But at the same time, while he was speaking badly about Bitcoin and, and making that Bitcoin price drop, his European division was buying up Bitcoin traded products. That's market manipulation. Did they, did anyone go to jail for that? No. Did he go to jail for that? Did he personally pay a fine for that? No. This company paid, got a slap on the wrist, and it was just like basically uh, a fine they had to pay for for doing business. It was the cost of doing business. Now I, I know I'm, I'm a, you know standing up on my soapbox here and, and I'm ranting, but I just want you guys to pay attention and watch what they're doing. They are now starting to validate models that's for typically the uh, crypto space, right? They're, they're starting to validate models. They're, they're starting to come out with these reports and say that Bitcoin is a good investment. Bitcoin is an investment that you should have, you should have as, as part of your portfolio. JP Morgan Chase, they're starting to do business with traditional crypto businesses. They're starting to uh, do partnerships with the likes of Consensys. So there you have it. Now we even have uh, Fidelity, the president files for new Bitcoin fund. Now they're, they're now they're filing for a, a specific Bitcoin fund. And who could get in? 
uh, the minimum investment to join the pooled investment fund is $100,000, indicating this is likely only for institutional and accredited investors. They are starting to change a narrative and make Bitcoin an investment for themselves and their friends. You can still buy Bitcoin on your own. You can still, you know, instead of buying that coffee every morning, buying that, that $5 coffee every morning or that, you know, $2 bagel every morning, whatever the case may be, right? Or, or buying lunch at work every day. I, I know that situations are different now because we're mostly working from home and things of that nature, but there are ways for us to invest as much as possible in Bitcoin and the other digital assets without their permission. Now, now, now they're basically selling their, they've been, they've been in this game for six years. Now they're basically selling their bags to <laughs> accredited investors, to the, to the people that they've, they've been telling for the past six years, for the past decade, that Bitcoin was a scam. It's only used for illicit activities and things like that. Watch what they do, not what they're saying, but watch what they are doing, okay? This is bullish news moving forward. This really is um, setting up for something, I don't know, ex some exponential growth, not only in Bitcoin, but the digital asset space, all right? You let me know about it in the comment section below. Do, do you think I'm freaking nuts? Do you think I'm crazy? Or again, do you think I'm onto something here? Let's talk about it. And as always, thank you for watching. Please smash that like. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. This is Sergeant Crypto and I'm out. Peace.